All right, welcome back. It is time for our pet doctor segment. Dr. Larson here. He's got me smiling. Who do we have today, Tim? We got some boxers. Yes, they're they're so lovable. Let's so, see, I have Declan, nice puppies, and, and I have, have Katie. Katie. Yeah, little boy, you know, little girl. One thing girl. about this, you don't have to keep those names because no, true. they're up for adoption. Yeah. Uh, they had uh, six in the litter. There are four that have been sold, and two of the best ones are still oh with us. Oh my gosh! And we're going to talk about uh, boxers in general. That's just yeah. what we're going to focus uh -huh. on. Um, let's start with like we always kind of do. Start with the history of them. Where did they come from? Well, they're from Germany. Okay. Uh, and they came from, and this is only about 100 years ago. The Boxer's uh, breed is oh, a new breed old. of dog. Yeah. Uh, they came from the Mastiff, the Great Dane, and the third one is the English Bulldog. Now, I can definitely see the Mastiff in the coloring on Katie. Yes, she can. And her, the, the uh, English Bulldog's on her face. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the sure. Great Dane's got to be their legs, uh, legs. They have long legs. So we can see a little bit of everybody, but I think they get the good looks from the English Bulldog. It's pretty incredible to think those three dogs came together to make this cutie. Um, so let's talk about the name Boxer. Where does that come from? You know, Tim, uh, Boxer is, um, uh, you, you think, well, a lot of breed dogs are named after the breeds that they made to make up the breed, mm -hmm. like the Mastiff, the uh, Great well, Dane, and the English that? Bulldog. No. In this case, no. Uh, it's because of a trait they have. Now, if you have been around Boxers very much, you'll know they'll put their paw mm -hmm. at, out at you and want to, you know, like jab. shake hands. They'll jab. But when they first got their name, the, the people that saw that happening said, well, they're wanting to box. Yeah, little jabs. And so That's all. the name Boxer stuck. Well, whatever works. Um, now, we have two very different colors here. You have a fawn and I have a brindle. Now, they come in a lot of different colors and a lot of different shades of fawn okay. and brindle. Uh, there's some jet black ones and there's some white ones, too. So I'm sorry. I just got to look at her face on that don't. camera. That was amazing. Um, they're a bigger dog. Not mm -hmm. the, not as not massive Great Dane big, but they're a little bigger. How yeah, big they're they get? pressing the lap dog pretty hard. They're <laughs> 45 to 65 pounds. That's up for them to decide. About 24 inches tall. That's how they decide whether or not they're a lap dog. That's right. You then, don't get to decide. If you ask that. the boxer, they want to be <laughs> lap dogs. And I think a lot of people, if you're familiar with boxers, on the scale of being a good pet, you know, good pet. Let's give them a big thumbs up. Yeah. You know, they what, love. Uh, they're they're uh, love life. Uh, they're full of energy. They love people. They love children. <laughs> they're a good family oh, dog. Oh, so sweet. Uh, you know, they, uh, they, they show themselves well. They're a graceful dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they just want to be around people that they, they want to be loyal to, their family. Yeah. Don't have a mean bone in their body. And real quick, as always with breeds, there are certain health yes. issues that you're going to run into. <laughs> there can be. And uh, with, uh, besides being a little bit stubborn, they're, they're, <laughs> the, uh, the health issues are... Uh, range from um, a condition called um, uh, cardiomegaly where the heart gets enlarged and okay they get, and they get early congestive heart failure okay. from that hypothyroidism a condition that a lot of dogs get meaning they don't have enough thyroid hormone need to supplement uh -huh. for it they also uh, will develop hip dysplasia at times a little bigger dogs so that a little bigger dog they get that from the big two big dog breeds that come yeah. together and uh, also uh, they'll tend to get bloat or other digestive problems. But okay. all those things said, and the one other thing, they, sometimes they're called the tumor dog because they're probably the number one dog breed that really? develops gross, yeah. you know, skin gross, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But they're worth it because they're great. Look at the face, how could they not be? Thank you so much, yeah. Dr. You're Larson. welcome, Tim, and these oh, guys need homes. Gosh, you made our day. Uh, we'll be coming right back, stick with us. <laughs> 